What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. So with the news that episode 4 is coming out in August 2020, everyone is scrambling around to get the gear that can be used for episode 4, but no one knows exactly what that is. Well today I'm going to be showing you the absolute best items to get now that can be used in the future and for endgame. First we're going to be discussing augments. Augments are these stats right here. I have four of them on my Elder Rifle and they give different bonuses to your equipment such as more melee power, range power, tech power, dex, HP and PP. Now the best stat to get or augment to get is actually Astral Soul. What it does, it gives you 35 to all power, all defense, dex, HP and 5 to PP. That's achieved by leveling up your ray equipment to plus 35. When you level this up to plus 35, you unlock the augment factor. As you can see, the augment factor is Astral Soul. It has a 100% transfer rate unless you're upslotting your equipment, say from 5 slots to 6 slots, or 6 slots to 7 slots. It gives you 35 health. 5 PP and 35 to everything else. Now this augment is actually an endgame augment. It can be used for episode 5 and episode 6. So currently it is the best augment to get right now. But in order to get your raid launcher to plus 31, plus 32, up to 35, you have to have more ray launchers each level requires one more ray launcher so you need a total of six ray launchers to get to plus 35 but in later episodes when ray launchers and ray series they're, they're dropped by mobs they can be rolled up to a maximum of plus 34 enhancement level as you can see mine is only a level 30 maximum but this can be up to 34 when it's dropped but it's random from 30 to 34 and in order to get a uh, ray series right now you can either buy it on the market or you can get it through rising weapon badges and those are acquired through the mission pass right here rising weapon badges two those are the ones you need not one you need a hundred of these in order to get one ray launcher so Use, do your missions and quests in order to unlock all these because that's going to be useful later on in the game. Some of you might ask about what about Apprentice Soul? But Apprentice Soul only gives you 40 to all attack. It doesn't give you any defense, no dex, no HP or PP. So Astral Soul is way better than Apprentice Soul. And you can only have one soul type augment on your equipment. You cannot have both of them. Next, we're going to be talking about Slave and Nemesis equipment. These are currently the most powerful weapons across all classes. And why people are harping over getting plus 35? It's not because they're augments. It's because they get traded into Zeeg in later episodes for 15 star weapon. But in order to get this weapon, it requires Ares Rifle plus 35, Nemesis Shooter plus 35, Slave Shooter plus 35, and 400 x cubes these need to be exactly the same thing so if you want the 15 star rifle you need the shooter types you can't mix and match next we're going to be talking about skill rings if you didn't know they are gear that adds different bonuses to your character and in some cases can change attributes completely and currently you can only equip one of each a left and right one However, on 12 star plus units, you can equip left rings onto your unit, enabling you to use multiple left rings. This is currently broken on PSO2, the North America version, but hopefully it's going to be fixed in the next episode. Let's take a look at what I'm wearing. I'm using launcher non weak bonus plus one. I'm currently leveling a few of these different rings, that's why it's plus one. What this does is at plus 20, the maximum, it applies weak hit advance anywhere you hit a mob. It doesn't matter if you hit him at a weak spot or not. 
100% all the time is going to apply we can advanced skill so that's very powerful especially for launcher users and there's multiple rings just like this and they all change it dramatically now since you guys made it this far here's a bonus tip you need to sell your extra 11 star units as soon as possible because as soon as the skill rings can be equipped onto 12 stars and above these 11 star units are going to drop dramatically you probably can use them for a few weeks up till episode 4 but your extra ones you need to sell them as soon as possible as well as skill rings since they're going to be equipable skill rings are going to be in high demand so what you got to do is keep your skill rings now and save them until they're equipable because on the market there's not that many plus 20 grinded skill rings out there and demand is going to be high but supply is going to be lacking so get in now level them up get your lambda grinders you can actually get that uh from daily daily missions have a drink that's quite easy i actually finished mine done and if you have multiple characters you can get three per day per character up to 252 if you have 12 characters and i believe 62 or, or 64 for three characters a week and that's it so to recap get a ray equipment to plus 35 for astral soul augment and try to get mark augments if possible get plus 35 slave equipment and nemesis equipment and upgrade those skill rings for when 12 star units come out that's it i hope this video helps you guys out, gives you an insight on what's there to come. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.